getting pretty late at night now, and I am going to quickly do the preview of these two midweek games. By the way, this is the first time this season we're going to have MLS midweek games. This one is going to be on Tuesday. This one's going to be on Wednesday. And as I said, since it's getting pretty late, I am actually going to be uploading this video tomorrow morning. Um, I'm just about to get ready to upload the review for MLS match week number six. But let's take a look at the midweek games. And we start off with DC versus Montreal. So DC, of course, they lost 4 nothing at home against LAFC in the last match. While the impact drew 0-0 to NYCFC away. Um, in terms of injuries and suspension, DC has definitely had a couple of injury. Uh, Oriel Fisher, Odell Estem, uh, Bustamin, Mora are all out for this game. And probably the most important piece that will be missing in this game for DC United will be Wayne Rooney, who of course was was sent off in the last game after he made an absolute horror tackle on Diego Rossi. And as for Montreal, their injury list, they got Corlecki, Cor Bileo, and also the most important Piatti is still on the IR and they have they said that he's going to be back pretty soon but from what I've seen on on the MLS soccer injury report list uh, they still have Piatti listed as out so most likely he's not going to be in this game and also the, the player that's going to be suspended in this game will be Maxi Aruti which just like Wayne Rooney made that horror tackle in that game he did the same thing in that game against NYCFC and both of those players are pretty identical where both of these players went studs up and originally both of these players had a yellow card it was overturned later to be a red card and you know when you look at this game I think for DC this is a good chance for them to bounce back I know they won't have Wayne Rooney in this game which will be very important for him and since he's kind of like the leader of this team you know, Montreal, they're going to be once again heading into this game. You know, without Piatti, this team definitely have shown that they are very kind of... They're not very good. And, you know, it's shown that in that NYCFC game where they were just pretty much bunkering all game long. And I have a feeling they're going to try to do the same thing against DC United. And, you know, for DC, it's up to them to try to break them down. And I think this is also where... Missing Rooney is going to be big because he is a guy, not only he is a leader of this team, but he can break down those very tough kind of lower block, block kind of bunker defense that Montreal is going to apply in this one. And then the the last game or the second game of this midweek, which will happen on Wednesday, is the Rapids against the Sounders. So I guess this is why the Sounders decided to take their foot off the gas against RSL because... They realize that they have a no, they have a midweek game. So you know, I said in the review that I was, I don't know why they took their foot off the gas in that game. Maybe that's why, because they they know that they have a midweek game. They need to kind of rest up a little bit. And if that's the that's the case, then yeah, good on Brian Schmitzer in terms of making that kind of decision. Although I don't think he really intended that that team just kind of took their foot off the gas. It's just that they just did it during the game, but. Yeah, Colorado, obviously, they're coming off of a 4-3 loss against Orlando City. It was a pretty heartbreaking loss, considering they were up 3-2 in the game, and then they blew it late in the game. Well, the Sounders, of course, they coast to a 1-0 win against RSL at home. For the Rapids, uh, Courtney Ford is still out for this team. Uh, questionable in this game is going to be Acosta, Nicholson, Rosenberry, and Rubio. So, pretty big names that they are going to be questionable in this game, and they certainly will hope that at least three of these four guys like Rosenberry, Rubio, and Acosta would be in this game because they are a very important piece to this team. Uh, well, for the Sounders, uh, Harry Ship and Rui Diaz is both going to be questionable in this game. I forgot Rui Diaz is actually injured right now. Like I was wondering, what, what, where in the world did Rui Diaz win? Why is he not scoring a bunch of goals? It just turns out that he was injured and he was in... The IR, so you know, there he is going to be questionable coming into this one. And you know, I think since the last time he got injured, he still technically holds the the mark where he has scored at least a goal in a game, and that he's now gone. Uh, I think is it eight or nine straight with a goal 
in a game and he is just one away from breaking Diego Valeri um although when he did suffer this injury I'm not sure did he suffer like during the game because if it suffered during the game then that streak is over like that means that he didn't he wasn't able to score a goal because he had to come off with an injury and and as much as that really that sucks the fact that that streak is over and that he had a good chance of potentially getting Valeri you know that was a good run of him scoring like nine scoring in nine straight kind of game but again i i am not officially um i i, I don't exactly know if Rui diaz actually suffered an injury during the game if you're if you're a sounders fan you know what happened to Rui diaz or in general you know what happened to Rui diaz and why he was in the injury reserve let me know in the comments below um but yeah um when you look at this game certainly the sounders they by the way they are they already play each other again so this is going to be the final meeting between both of these teams last time the sounders and the rapids played the sounders of course won two nothing and you know i think for the rapids they would really hope to not concede early goals because if you concede early goals against the sounders yeah that is that means that you're probably going to lose because they are a team that like to score early goals and then just kind of coast their way throughout the rest of the game like they have been doing in the last free game. And, I mean, you know, for Colorado, they, you know, it was heartbreaking against Orlando. And, you know, the thing that will make them a bit of a disadvantage besides that heartbreak is that they have to travel all the way across the other side of the country to play a midweek game, which we know that that will definitely affect teams. So, yeah, certainly the Sounders, they will be favorites in this game, despite the fact that they're playing on the road. But who knows? Maybe the Rapids can can recover. And, you know, the Rapids, as I've said many times before, they have, they have definitely shown times that they have played better than they have last season. But they got to start getting the resort in. Like, at this point, I don't even kind of want to talk playoff anymore because... The way that they start the season, it doesn't look like at all they're going to make the playoffs. It looks like they're going to finish once again at the bottom. And, you know, that will really frustrate Rapids fan. And I'm really hoping this team would start pick it up. And really, those moves that they made this offseason will at least get them in a respectable place. And at least not finish at the bottom of the, the MLS standing year in and year out as they have been in the last couple of years but yeah there you have it that is pretty much it for the preview of these two games you know it's a very quick video because there's not much to talk about but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what do you think of these two games uh make sure you guys leave your prediction below in the comment section what do you think the prediction is going to be for both of these two games and yeah like i said i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time